My name is Alexis and I am playing Maima. My name is Brittany and I am playing Elena. My name is Deontay and I am playing Bissy. My name is Kennedy and I am playing Rita. The play has to do with uh, five Liberian women held in captive in a rebel army camp. It's mainly, it's a lot about captivity, it's a lot about strength, um, powerfulness, being a woman, and it's about um, courage. And we do have some strong characters that are a part of it. Um, and then we have some softer characters who are a part of it who try to keep the peace there's a lot of a lot of happy moments, a lot of sad moments, a lot of rough, tough moments, but for the most part, it's very powerful. I think it's important because we don't see that side of the world in general, especially that side of um, Africa and things that go on over there. I, I think it's important because the strength that these ladies have and the unity and the love that they have, I, I think that's really important to see on stage. I also think it's really important to do this show because Tech has never done anything like it. Before I even did the story, I, I knew nothing about the Civil War in um, Liberia. I knew nothing about America kind of founding Liberia and, and the diversity there in general. Um, or the way America kind of just left them in this chaos to deal with themselves. And it's really important to know because as Americans, we don't know that that kind of is a part of our, our story. This dialect is not easy to do, like at all, because we don't, most of us don't hear uh, it on a daily basis. It's very hard for me to, um, get out of America and into Liberia because I'm very, very Americanized and there's are, the vowels are hard and the consonants are more soft and, mm -hmm. and it's a, just the words that they say are just different. So like we say it, but they say eat. <laughs> so there's all kinds of stuff like that. So it's just really not easy. It's very hard not to sound yes. Jamaica. Very. <laughs> very. <laughs> yeah. I think that was my biggest issue with it in the beginning, is that I would always sound Jamaican. And with me, I basically had to start from scratch with both accents, two different accents, which is like going back and forth between her educated, more British sound and the deep Liberian when she's trying to communicate with these girls. And that's you have to switch back and forth so quickly and it's just really, it's a challenge, but um, that's, that's the dialect, that's what it is. I, <laughs> I think the biggest challenge at this point is that we've gotten so good with the dialect that we now have to add in like consonants. Yeah. Yeah. that way yeah. can understand. So it's like, oh, add that D back in. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 You say wish, nope, say wish, because. Yeah. <laughs> We can all like talk to each other in the dialect, yeah. and we understand Stand each other. But when yeah. you put it on stage, like the audience isn't going to probably understand most of what right. we're saying. So it's very like let's put these L's back in and well, and uh, let's put the T's back in and the P's and everything. And it's just very it's so easy to fall into now that we've been doing it for so long. And it, it feels good because it's like now we've stepped into Liberia. Like we've taken away, I guess, our Americanized parts and now we've added these pieces of Liberia. So for us, it's like, oh, oh this is all right. It's more of a buzz. Yeah. Me and my okay. we don't even talk to each other in our American accent. Like, it's, <laughs> At it's all. Literally like as soon as we answer the phone, hey, how you doing? Like, it's like, <laughs> hey, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> So the most challenging part to me is really understanding these people. Like you, you can as an actor, like you can get a script and you can you can read that script every single day, and you can you can do your discoveries, you can make your relationships, you can find your humor, you can find your love, your hate, and all of those things you know that we're taught that we are technically supposed to find about our characters, our objectives, and go get them. And what do you want out of this person in your action? But when you start to, when you start to really understand these stories, 
hear these women on stage speak, when I hear myself speak, and the more and more I say my lines, and the more and more I hear all these ladies speak, it affects me so much because I'm learning their story. But I think also the most rewarding thing that came from this is spending time with these girls. I think there's a lot of support from everyone too, not just for this show, like everyday life. We being able to come into the situation and love on one another and like we didn't know Kenna but we just she, she's here with us and we love her so much you know this is her first year as a freshman and I just think it's it's really rewarding to know that we can just accept one another and all be so different and just just kind of just love on one another you know and it's it's with everybody it's with our stage manager Rachel it's with Dean Nolan it's with our assistant director Zach it's we're just so you know it's like a little family I think the most rewarding thing is when you have women of color in a production and we, as women of color, we already have, um, we already have a silent voice in this world as being just simply women of color, as being, you know, um, <laughs> there's just so much. Yeah. By being a woman of color, that's honestly one of the strongest attributes about all of it's us. A, it's a different kind of strength. Right. And that strength goes, um, people read it differently yeah. all the time, you know? Take the strength of a black woman just wrong, and yeah. they get offended. And you know, that's something we deal with on a daily basis. I think the things that they endure and the strength, that's why these characters are so hard to play. Yeah. And what's so surprising about this is that like, we're at rehearsal every night, and I literally forget every night that my character is in her mid to late teens, because it seems like we're all playing so much older characters. I mean, Rita is older than all of us. Elena's the oldest of the, of the wives or whatever. And I mean, me, as Maima and Bessie and the girl are all pretty young and, and Throughout the rehearsal process and throughout the nights that we were rehearsing, she is the only one in my mind who was actually young because it just seems like we're like we're just older. We're we're older and we're we're we, we are we are damaged and we just don't we don't come across to me as teenagers. And I think that's probably the whole point of this is that <laughs> we are so young, but we are all so Old and grown, old and, 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 and destroyed, yeah. and we are just trying to find a way to survive. The reason that you, we seem older, is because we've all had to take care of someone. Yeah, you know, Elena's only twenty-five. Me and Maima are nineteen. This girl is fifteen. You know, um, so she's number one. Number two came in, and she had to take care of number two, and then number three came in. So they're looking after me, and then the girl comes in and we're looking after her. So like in a way, we're kind of all playing a mother to someone. And it's so like the story of these Liberian girls are already foreign to me just as an American. Yes. It's never gonna have that experience. But it's like Rita is looking at them from almost a similar perspective, except she's been in Liberia for so long. She's looking at them from an outside perspective in that she has had so much privilege and that's been stripped away from her the way that they stripped her daughter away from her. And then there's this fight between really wanting to help these girls and get to know them and get to love them, but wanting to find my daughter. And I just think that's such an amazing thing to get a perspective into. Come see Eclipse, December 1st through 4th at the Majin Main Stage Theater. Come and see the show, eh? <laughs>